air surveillance radar system tinurn over na ng Japan sa Philippine Air Force. Ang air surveillance radar system ay nakuha ng Pilipinas mula sa Japan at naibigay daan sa bansa na makakita ng mga nangihimasok sa loob ng 300 nautical miles, sinabi ni Department of National Defense Secretary Gilberto Chidoro Jr. Sinabi pa niya na importanteng makita natin sa layang 300 nautical miles ang mga intrusions sa ating airspace at kaugnay ng mga ibang sistema na magkakaroon tayo ng klarong picture, hindi lamang sa West Philippine Sea, kundi sa iba pang lugar sa Philippine Sea, air domain kung sino ang pumapasok sa ating teritoryo. Sinabi ng DND Chief na ang ASRS deal ay nag-highlight sa concrete steps and concrete actions ng Japan bilang isang strategic partner ng Pilipinas. Ang air surveillance radar system ay ginawa ng Mitsubishi Electric Corporation or MELCO sa Wallace Air Station sa San Fernando, La Union. Muli ring iginiit ni Chodoro na ang Pilipinas ang kauna-unahang nakatanggap ng official security assistance mula sa Japan na ipinangako sa pagbisita ni Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida sa bansa noong Nobyembre ng taong ito. Sinabi ng Philippine Air Force na ang 5.5 billion pesos na ASRS deal sa MELCO ay binubuo ng tatlong fixed FPS DAS 3ME at isang mobile TPS P14ME. Ang mga radar system na ito ay patatakbuhin ng 588th Aircraft Control and Warning Wing ng PAF at nasa ilalim ng Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Horizon Plan 2. Ang Air Surveillance Radar System ay nakuha sa pamamagitan ng isang government-to-government -government deal kung saan nilagdaan ng DND ang kontrata ng proyekto noong August 14, 2020. Kasama sa kontrata ang radar platform na may mga support facility na kinabibilangan ng radar tower at radome, command and control building, communications infrastructure, electric power generator building at housing para sa mobile radar at mga sasakyan nito. Kasama rin dito ang mga sasakyang pang suporta para sa mobile radar, pagsasanay, mga pasilidad sa pagpapanatili at paunang integrated logistic support system. Sinabi ng Philippine Air Force na ang air surveillance radar system ay idinisenyo para sa maagang babala at pagsubaybay sa lupa at pandagat maging para sa fixed wing na sasakyang pang himpapawid, helicopter o malayo ang piloted na sasakyan. Sinabi rin nito na ang ASRS acquisition ay magpapahusay sa kakayahan ng bansa na subaybayan ng air at maritime activities sa rehiyon. Magbibigay ito ng halos real-time na impormasyon at pangkalahatang air situational na larawan para sa ating mga strategikong gumagawa ng desisyon sa lahat ng spectrum ng mga operasyon kaya ginagawang tutugon ng Philippine Air Force sa mga kinakailangan sa pambansang siguridad. Isinagawa ang pre-delivery inspection ng unang unit ng ASRS noong October 2022 sa Japan. Ang unang ASRS ay naihatid sa bansa noong December 7, 2022 na sinundan ng pagtatayo at pag install ng radar tower at SIDAS 2 na gusali na isinagawa ng mga sumunod na buwan. Ang MELCO radar ay pumasa sa acceptance test noong October 24 at ginamit na mula noon.
imperative. That is why we are cooperating, not only bilaterally with Japan, but multilaterally with other countries, is to maintain a free and open Indo-Pacific. To establish right and proper conduct under a rules-based international order. The primacy of generally accepted principles of international law, in particular, and principally in groups. And for Japan, it has unequivocally supported the arbitral award in favor of the Philippines. And in its view, it is binding on all. So, we are cooperating because we have shared values against the contrived and unilateral attempt by other countries to appropriate an international body of water called the South China Sea, and worse, parts of the exclusive economic zone of the Philippines, which we call the West Philippine Sea as its own, under convoluted and contrived legal arguments. This we cannot stand. And we are glad that other countries are supporting us because international law is made or created by a consensus among states. And if we acquiesce, we bend over backward, it becomes probably a, a rule of law if we bend over backwards against the attempt to unilaterally recreate norms of international law to the detriment of everyone. On the Philippine side, there is also an important thing to remember. Our allies are co-investing with us in a full spectrum of activities because they see that we are doing it for ourselves. Hindi po tayo umaasa lahat sa ating mga kaalyato ginagawa din po natin sa sarili natin. At mamayang hapon po, ipirmahan ang General Appropriations Act ng ating Pangulo kung saan mag-uumpisa ang uh, matinde at uh, serious na upgrades ng capabilities ng armed forces of the Philippines in all dimensions. We will continue to harden our facilities. We will continue to upgrade our facilities and equipment, and for which we have to thank and work very closely with our local government partners. We are basing on locations, not just because we want to, but because these are strategic partners. And we thank the LGUs for understanding how important it is for the whole nation that within their areas we start to protect our national sovereignty and territorial integrity. So this is really a holistic exercise between our treaty and allied partners, between like-minded nations, the chorus is increasing supporting the Philippines, between the LGUs and the national government and between the armed forces of the Philippines led by our Commander-in-Chief, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. and our people. We have an 85% trust rating from our people. And this cannot be done without strong leadership from the President, without hard work from each and every one of you and without an understanding of this. Finally, in uh, connection with the visit of the President to Japan and the statements echoed by both heads of state, we will work very hard to speed up the signing of a reciprocal access agreement between Japan and the Philippines and we hope to send it for ratification to the Philippine Senate in the soonest possible time. 
So, to each and every one of you here, this is just the beginning of a, a, a struggle for the right. Uh, you know, the harder right in, in terms of our country's mutual security and growth. And we do this not only for the present, but more importantly, for the security and safety of our future generations. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay po ang Pilipinas. Mabuhay sa Japan.